Hey, this is AJ from Pitch Panda. I've run multiple link building agencies over the years. I've um, sold seven figure agencies. I've launched my own affiliate sites. And a lot of it always boiled down to some focus on link building. And time after time, the most uh, kind of tedious, time consuming, issue wrought portion of it was always the prospecting. It, you know, once you got the emails, you got responses, you could kind of make it work. If you needed to write content, you could figure it out. But the prospecting part was always an issue because, well, there's so many ways to do it wrong. Uh, there's so many little minute areas of, of errors. You could get the wrong site. You could contact the wrong person. You could get deliverability issues. Or on the flip side, you're doing lots of link building. You have lots of clients or you just have high link targets and you are hiring way too many people for your prospecting. You're hiring people who uh, don't have an efficiency mindset. They have a, you know, kind of maximize the hours mindset. So you end up giving somebody a list of 500 websites to qualify. And then, you know, the question becomes, um, how capable are they of knowing what's a good link versus a bad link, a good site versus a bad site? It's more than just metrics, right? You could filter by hrefs and all this kind of stuff. But when it comes down to identifying a good site, lots of people have different ways of doing it. So ultimately what I'm getting at is I think the most difficult part of link building is the prospecting process. If you can dial that in, turn it into a science, you're going to have a waterfall of opportunities. If you can't, it's going to be efficient. It's going to take time. You're going to say link building sucks. You're going to say it doesn't work. You're going to eventually give up. So it's so, so important. And over the past six months, I've been you know, launching only outreach, launching Pitch Panda, dialing in the team, dialing in the processes. And all of this kind of coincided exactly with the GPT AI revolution. So I've been very much at the forefront of experimenting with what tools are doing a good job in this space. And that's what leads me to creating this video because I feel like I finally come to a point where I have a, a system, a workflow, uh, a bunch of templates and tools that are really, really making a big difference. In fact, I've been able to hire, the best part about it for me is that you can hire better qualified people, you can give them some work to do, and it won't be kind of the same old work over and over again for them because they can leverage AI, they can leverage certain technologies to make their work more efficient. Um, the type of people that like to do repetitive stuff over and over again, you know, there's definitely, there's still a place for that in SEO, that's not going anywhere. But what's really cool is now you can arm people with a set of processes and tools that are really, really cheap, and they can make everyone's workflow go much faster. Okay, so I, this isn't going to be a video that talks about, you know, how to use Ahrefs Content Explorer, how to do search operators to build a list of 500 websites that allow guest posts. Fine, it's, it's been done a million times. I know, we're not gonna get into it. What I want to talk about is once you have that list of sites, whether it's a thousand sites, 500 sites, whatever it is, a lot of those are not going to be qualified, okay? Um, they are going to, maybe they're not even blogs. Maybe they're not even in the niche. Maybe they are low quality sites that publish way too many paid guest posts. Whatever the case is, if you have a list of a thousand, you can be sure that if you're doing your prospecting qualification correct, probably only 300 or so of those are actually going to be good outreach targets. And that's even after you do your bulk HREFs checks, um, even after you remove all the sites that have no traffic. The fact is that even the sites that pass today's kind of vanity SEO metrics, a majority of them aren't that qualified. A majority of them aren't really good link outreach targets. But the only way to know that until now has been to manually go through them. So you'd hire someone to go through a thousand sites and maybe they're qualifying 10, 20 an hour. That takes a certain amount of time. Our goal is to cut that time by 75%, by 90%. And can we do it with the help of AI? Absolutely. So the tool that I've been using for this is a Google Sheets Chrome extension. You can find it at gptforwork.com. It'll, uh, I have a, a template that I've created that helps, that gives you all the important links here. Um, if you look at the, the description of the YouTube video, you can go and download it. and. It's just very simple. What you're going to need is that tool, which is a free extension. 
you're going to need an OpenAI API. It's 20 bucks a month and it's dirt. The actual API is dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. We're prospecting thousands and thousands of websites a month and we're only spending a couple bucks per month through their API, which is fantastic. And then we have this Google Sheets template and that's where I'm going to show you how it works. But if you wanna download this template, um, check the link in the, in the description or just go directly to this page right here and you can download it and follow along. So here is the sheet. Now, very simply, if you have a list of URLs, you can paste them in here. And then you can use the extension, GPT for Sheets, to create several prompt automations within each cell. Some of my favorite ones um, have been to, you know, what combination of prompts can I use to automatically qualify a site in a way that uh, I can filter by various columns and bulk delete by various things that I know don't make sense. So this is where I landed on that, okay? I start with the URL. So in this example, I found a list of a thousand URLs that are talking about credit and I pasted them in here. And then these are the prompts that you can access. Uh, this one pulls out the root domain automatically. This one provides a summary of the website. This one, I ask it in one word, what's the main niche of this website? This one, I ask you what the name of the company is. This one, I'm asking what type of website it is and I give it some certain options to pick from. So SaaS site, blog site, agency site, e-commerce site, personal site. Now this one is probably the most important, the most valuable new site, wiki site, content sharing site, because by automatically categorizing this, well, we know that in my prospecting, I'd like to go after SaaS sites, blog sites, agency sites, e-commerce sites, personal sites. That's my bread and butter and possibly, probably business sites. But everything else here, new sites, directories, forums, review sites, wiki sites, guess what? These always end up on prospecting lists and they are always mostly not good outreach opportunities. So by entering this formula, dragging and clicking, you can literally cut down your prospecting list by half in, in just a few minutes. And then this one described the type of business in two words. So. You know, I, this doesn't need to be a tutorial on how to use this tool necessarily, because I think with their own guidelines and this template, you'll start to understand what's going on here. So I wanted to create a, um, like a pre-populated template to give you an idea of some of the, the more popular features that it has. Uh, some of my favorite ones to use are the extract thing where I, I tell it to extract some data from a corresponding cell. I tell it to extract the company name from a corresponding cell. Summarize, classify, that's a big one. Classify is a huge one. You can copy these classification criteria and make it really, really easy to bulk remove lots of unqualified sites. And I mean, this app this app has tons of different ways and you know, this, everyone has their own kind of ways of prospecting. Uh, this is one of the ways I've figured out so far, but as you do more and more stuff, it's just gonna give you more and more options. So once we, paste in a bunch of websites. I think I've added about a thousand down here, right? And then we have the formula in the first row, copy, and you drag it all the way down so it triggers the process for the entire website. Come on down, come back some time later, and what you'll be looking at are filters here. I've trained my team to focus on certain sites, right? Business sites, fantastic. Content sharing sites, not as interesting. So I'd be bulk deleting those content sharing sites. I'd be bulk deleting the coupon sites. Most of the directories are not that interesting to me. E-commerce sites, I might be okay with those depending on my campaign. Forum sites, not interested. Gaming sites, probably not interested. Government sites, not interested. New sites, not gonna do it for me. So just by looking at an HRS export and a, a couple minutes of prospecting, what are we going to do here? We're going to cut off hundreds of websites that are not qualified. And by doing this activity, you're freeing up time to also find hundreds of additional websites that are qualified. So that's the power of using this kind of AI tool within your prospecting and totally, totally flexible, but you have to spend the time to kind of get used to it, okay? Um, 
that's part number one. Part number two, you know, most people, most people online, most virtual assistants, no one's really, this is all new stuff. So no one's experimenting with it. So, you know, if you're the founder, if you're the marketer, it's up to you to kind of start experimenting with this, building the process. And then it's your advantage when you start hiring and training a team to implement some of this stuff for you. That's where the true power comes in. So you can see we've deleted hundreds of links here from the original thousand and how much time did it take? None at all, right? So coupon sites again, and then you could do the same with the other filters. You could do the same with the other filters. There's certain types of businesses you're not interested in, right? It's totally fine to just bulk delete them. Credit unions, they're probably don't, they don't have uh, blogs. Something like a credit union is not going to be a good target if I'm looking for financial links. So yeah, check that out. Think about it. Think about some ideas, apply it to your to your own thing, because what we're all about is doing outreach to qualified sites efficiently as possible. If that sounds interesting to you, then head over to pitchpanda.com backslash resources, prospecting with AI template. Go ahead and download it. I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. And if you're looking for somebody to help you with your link building, check out pitchpanda.com. Check out my other brand, onlyoutreach.com. There we provide link building services. So this is AJ. If you have any questions, if you want to get in touch with me, AJ at Pitch Panda is my email. Thanks a lot for checking out this video.